from you? Well, I just had a very, very interesting meeting here in uh, Beverly Hills at the uh, Rainbow Room. Yeah, at the Rainbow Room. Basically, it was a business meeting about me, about my show, about my activism. Um, I may have just had the most important day, most important meeting of my life today. I may end up, I mean, I don't even want to jinx it, talk about it, but wow. Yeah, I had a great meeting today here on Sunset Boulevard at the Rainbow Room of all places. Beverly Hills. I can call it West Hollywood, whatever you call it. Yeah, actually it's West Hollywood. It's not quite Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is right up the street. But... <sighs> oh my goodness. Now I have to wait. I have to wait for a few phone calls. I did get off the contract though. I didn't want to sign it yet. You know why? Because I've been offered contracts before since I've been here for my story one way or the other. And I either signed them and then didn't get any money, or then it became a big thing. I got locked into something that first year I was here. Nothing happened. So basically I got locked in for a year. So anyway, this one here, when I balked about the money, I need some money up front, signing bonus, something. Give me something. <laughs> he said, he's going to check with his bosses. We will see. So, ooh, hopefully, man, it's a good one, man. I don't even know how to act yet. I'm still stressing. And the crazy thing is, I woke up this morning, I had five bucks to my name. Five bucks and some change. I put the five bucks in the gas tank, and I put the change in the meter right there. And while I was talking to him, he did ask me if I had any herb on him. I told him, yeah, I had a jar of weed, weed on me. I said, I gotta, I gotta stay with that. You know, imagine that. A guy calls himself weed man. Doesn't have no weed. He called me weedless man. But anyway, <laughs> now I got 20 bucks at least. So I sold him what I had in my pocket. I really I just wanted to give it to him, but what the hell, I'm broke. I'm broke as shit. He's offering me a contract. Oh my goodness. I'm still taking it in, y'all. I really ain't one of these oh my goodness guys, but you know what? I didn't know what I was going to do. I was about ready to call my mom and ask for some money. Call my dad and ask for some money. That's how broke I am. Now I just get offered this deal that could turn me into, I ain't going to say a rich guy, but at least I'll, I'll be back on my feet. Now let's just see if it goes through the next day or two. Anyway, I'm out of here. Whew.